Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gain. And in this week's show we have lots of bridges, a huge department store based from the UK, a swanky motel and a huge freight terminal. It can only mean one thing guys, let's do this. Up first we have the Bronix Cop City by EXUSA. Now there are two versions released this week, both the Chevron and the Tower. Both are very, very detailed builds, both very similar to each other, so perfect to add into a city to redefine the skylines. Now I particularly like the Tower's X design, it's very unique and very aesthetically pleasing. And up next we have the return of Jez with the Church of Saint Germain from Rennes. This is a very unique looking church, something different to what's out there already and I particularly like the detailing. The stainless steel windows, the moss on the walls, it looks like it took a long time to make but sensational, great characteristics. Up next we have the House of Fraser department store by Renewcom. Now this is based on the building in Manchester, formerly known as the Kendall. The plot size is 9x6 so it's a very large department store but perfect to be added into your city and I particularly love the detail at night time. The green lights just like the real thing really make a showcase of this model. Kia Sarge is up next with this repairing dry dock. Now the dock itself comes in a variety of different versions, some open, some closed, along with these beautiful cranes and there's quite a variety already on his workshop so if you're looking to build up your harbour by all means check out his workshop and see what else there is to offer. Up next is the return of Cristalisto with the California Plaza. I didn't realise this at first, but the actual California Plaza is one of the landmarks in SimCity Sport. Um, I believe Maxis, the creators of SimCity, were headquartered there for a while, so that's a, an interesting fact. But the model itself is sensational. I really do love the angles and different levels that the, this building offers. Talking of offerings, the Cathedral of Light and Power by Tentman is a very clever and unique build for us to use. And the model itself is sensational. I really love the detailing and textures of the walls themselves. Now the model itself is available in two options. You have the main building, which is a 16 by eight, and the smaller building, 10 by eight. So you can combine the two together or have them separate. It's up to you. And up next, we have the Skyline Tower by Havariki. Not sure how you pronounce that, but anyway, this is a fantastic model for your skylines. The plot size is 2x4, so a very nice size for your main city. And you've got the apartments on top and this beautiful green roof. Up next, we have these very cleverly designed props from Lost Gecko. It's the Metal Factory Overpass Props. So these are perfect to add on to the side of your buildings to connect two together just creating that sort of skywalk feeling. On a similar path, Revo has very kindly made these modular metal shelters to add on our buildings to create a bit of shelter from the rain. It's not an asset roundup without seeing something from King Leno and this week we are blessed with two. The first is the Dollar Tree. Now I believe there's a couple of these already on the workshop but each one has its own merits and this one in particular I love for the detailing, I love the construction of the roof, the brickwork and as always King Leno produces some brilliant lighting features onto the night shots. Dub has really been hitting the scene recently with some very unique and clever builds. This week it's two props and it's a game of steel balls and a volleyball court. Both fantastically built and perfect for your leisure. 
Do you have a corner of your map that needs a bit of sprucing up? Well, Iron Wind has released the Rumour Town Hall. Now this town hall is from Finland and you really get that aesthetical feel of a Finland building from the way this has been produced. The brickwork, fantastic. The colouring is something that I'm particularly enjoying. It really does remind me of Finland. I promise you two this week from King Leno and the second is the Rump Motel. I really, really, really like this one. This is a brilliant motel. Probably one of the best that I've seen on the workshop for some time. And I particularly like the attention to detail. We have this beautiful logo, Apple I think it is. Or is it? No, sorry, Peach. Um, and the L of the motel is slightly ajar from the rest. Beautiful work as always from King Leno. Another release this week from Jez and it's the French Flats 1 and 2. There certainly is a lack of these sort of assets on the workshop and the detail levels and construction of these are France all over. You have the trendy balconies and the high bills which are perfect for these small slivery little towns. Another busy creator over the last month is Mick Crosshill and this time he brings us the Coast Guard Station main complex. This particular model was based on a Coast Guard station in Cleveland and I think what we see here is a fantastic model of that. The little flag in the middle, the tower, the boats, the helicopter pad, it's everything you need for a beautiful Coast Guard station. We asked for bridges, we've got bridges. Paul J. Chris has released a number of beautiful, beautiful bridges using the procedural mod. Now simply add your road on top and you have a number of bridges to use. It's been a while since we had a new dealership build but Sven Berlin has created this Honda car dealership. Based on a 8x8 this model is beautifully designed, ready for you to detail. There's no cars on the lot, this is all down to you so a great starting point for you to then create the perfect car dealership. My personal favourite for this week is the freight terminal by Senfcon. Senfcon's models have a very unique style and we all love it, we all do. This model in particular has a lot of different areas all built into one. You've got the warehouse, you've got the train station hangar and you've got the main complex. All of which suit beautifully together and the levels of detail are absolutely top, top friends. level. So guys that brings us to the end of this week's asset roundup. As always please leave your comments below let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.